the numbers are staggering in terms of how much money some of these, these folks are making. Yeah. Does the, let's just talk about the subscription piece first. Do you see that happening, which we think they're going to, and, but do you see that being a success? Yeah, um, well, so there's two subscription services that have been announced. Uh, yesterday, there was the music uh, subscription service. And so tackling that first, I think that YouTube is well positioned to, to do well with that. Um, obviously, people aren't buying CDs anymore. They're buying subscription services. And YouTube has a huge competitive advantage. Um, it's the, uh, for, for teens, it's the number one music discovery engine. Right. Um, more than radio, more than MTV, et cetera. So they've got the audience. <clears throat> and then parallel to that, they've got the, the artists, all the content. Right. Um, every artist is using it as a massive uh, marketing tool. And are you buying tool. that instead of buying Spotify, a subscription? Is instead that you... of or complimentary to, yeah. And what type of, what type of pricing do you think people are going to pay? Well, they announced, that, I believe it was nine ninety nine a month. Right. Um, so that was already announced. And I think that's competitive and on par with you know, the Spotify premium. And, but are you people going to use that on mobile? How are they watching these videos in your mind? Uh, well, um, yeah, mobile is huge for, with YouTube already. It's 50% right. of all viewership. In terms of the premium subscription service, uh, they're going to be able to stream music on mobile, which currently you can't do that with YouTube, um, just normal YouTube. So you'll be able to use other apps and have uh, your music playing just like you can with a Spotify premium. Right. Do you ever see a day where YouTube is broadcasting live, for example, sports? Yeah. We, we've always wondered whether that is the ultimate game changer in the world of, of digital video. Yeah, well, well, live is huge in general. I mean, we saw Amazon bought Twitch TV, which mm -hmm. was uh, uh, you know, live streaming gaming. Um, so, so I think live will continue to play a role. Um, YouTube ultimately has kind of the, the, the consumers and viewers of the future. And so whatever they want, they're gonna build into that. I mean, you know, teens, uh, teens right now aren't watching TV anymore. Uh, they're all spending their time on YouTube, so. Right. What do you make of what Yahoo's trying to do in this space, in the video space? What Facebook's trying to do in this space? AOL is trying to yeah. do in this space? Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of money in uh, video ad dollars, so right now, uh, TV ads generate something like 56 billion in revenue each year. Um, currently, digital video is something like six billion. So, you know, as the trend is, uh, as, as consumers are going more and more towards digital, and teens are already doing this, um, the ad dollars will follow. So, there's 56 billion dollars right. effectively uh, that everybody's competing for. And right now, YouTube has a leg up, but everybody else wants a bigger piece of Some that. Some of these creators who are making millions and millions of dollars. Why are they doing it on YouTube? Meaning, if they have such a following and such an audience, and they're giving away 45% of the money yeah. to YouTube, you'd think they should be going out and doing it themselves and, and holding on to a little bit more of that margin. Yeah, and, and to a certain extent, that's happening more and more. So right now, there, uh, there are YouTube networks that are building off YouTube properties to do just that. Um, you know, they're, they've got to give 45% off the top to YouTube. Mm -hmm. But if they can build their own property, uh, they can own all that revenue. Um, and that's something I think YouTube is really struggling with. And, uh, and I think in part, that's a reason they announced the uh, ad supported subscription model from a couple weeks ago. They're trying to supply creators more and more revenue streams to keep them happy and stay on YouTube.